Hey, Chad, check out the cool new stuff that we just put up on the internet. Oh, dude, we have been posting some hot threads, but oh, I haven't seen these new ones. Ooh, what's this over here? Oh, yeah, touch them. Touch and feel the softness of them. Oh, I am. I'm reaching across the internet through the screen, like a very creepy effect, and I'm t these are some good threads. You set your hand teleporter up to goosebuds.store. Puts you right there into the internet. You can feel the ball boy shirt. <laughs> Beautiful ball boys. <laughs> You can feel the you can you can feel the skelly and you can feel the hat uh, the goosebuds hat that looks like it kind of has weed signs on it. Yeah, it's a great way to show that you love both possibly marijuana and the podcast goosebuds. Uh, where do you, where do you go, Paul? That is goosebuds store. See you there, you dirty weedsters. <laughs> Oh, there's a snap. I heard that. See, I heard snap. that. Yeah. You just got to well, be. I got these big meaty fingers, Alex. And you have to do a, sl it's yeah. got to be like a slow snap. You can't surprise Discord. The, yeah, I have, I have these, these uh, slender elf hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking, we'll, we'll talk about elf in a minute. Oh, oh yes. my God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh yes, they, yeah, like these lithe, lithe uh, elf fingers are not good. Uh, yes, it's, yes, graceful elf hands. Mm -hmm. It scares Discord too too easily. Yes, you, yes. Yeah, if you're Alex, I mean, if you, I, I gotta say, I've always been jealous when you were doing those like 8 p.m. videos just to show off your actions per minute, and you were like, <laughs> "Here's me doing uh, crazy micros in League of Legends." Uh, here's my slender elf fingers, and I was like. Damn it, Alex! I'll never be as good. Wait, you talking about me? Yeah. Is this a goof? Do, I don't remember doing this. Did I ever do that? <laughs> no, you never did. That. Oh, okay. I didn't know if this was so. Okay, never mind. I was like, wow. did I make an entire series of videos that I don't remember? Yeah, I was sitting there like imagining Chad getting super jealous about your hands, and I was. Just, I thought yeah. that was really weird, Chad. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I did used to to have a desk right next to Alex, and you when stared we together. Did you we work? Did we work next to each other? Well, wait, there was a person in between us, wasn't there? Uh, okay, so when I started, I was I was next to Hillary, I want to say almost the entire time yeah, I worked. Yeah. There. And then it, you might have been a, you might have been No, no, no. You were one unit over from me. Yeah, in terms of the squares, it was yeah. Alex, Hil the great uh great Hillary, mm -hmm. uh, myself and then Neil Lambert. Mm -hmm. And then we uh yeah, the dream just, team as somebody the, would as somebody the call. The dream it. team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, -huh, uh, -huh. uh and Alex had Alex, I feel like you, within the first week of you working with, with us at Polaris or the game station or whatever we were calling a it. A bunch then. of people got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, was it that first week? Was it that it was first like, week? So, wait a minute. Do we, do we want to sync this up? Do we want to talk about this on the podcast? Dude, the company's dead. Oh, yeah, they're gone. Really they're gone. Okay, we're in it. Okay, so I started working there in April of 2013 which was funny because oh, my wow. start date was supposed to be april 1st and i thought i was gonna get there and they're gonna be like surprise mm -hmm. you don't have a job but um <laughs> uh i started working there and within like a week like i want to say like seven people got laid off like in Probably. our immediate department Probably. yeah and i was like uh oh well that's the end for me um but then <laughs> <laughs> then it was uh, then it was pretty much just the same people, and then we we continued to work together. Um, yeah, and, th and then we proceeded great. to go through uh, several phases of a company being sold to investors mm -hmm. and uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. one very particular investor. Yeah, well, uh, there's a there's a there's a long one of us is going to do a tell all book in a couple. Of you years. think so? I it's it's going to be. Listen, Chad, let's not let's not give us too much credit. It's going to be like a tell all blog post. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I, but yeah, I'm thinking yeah. like I'm thinking kind of like um, always famous. Is that what it's called? Always famous. Al What's that almost, movie? almost famous. Almost famous with about the rockers. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, thinking yeah. like an almost famous kind of tell all. Well, well now you got the like, name. It could be always famous. Just call it that. Always famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, always in parentheticals, internet famous. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that see, this is mean. why. This is why you're the writer. This is why you're the writer, Chad. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a some levels of stories of uh, Alex and I having just we've seen some shit. You know, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We've mm -hmm. we've had to rush. Uh, 
a, a, a cocaine fueled Minecrafter to the stage in time kind of thing. Oh, oh you got my cool goodness. drugs. I didn't expect drug stories from there. There, there's some stories oh, buddy. that we oh, can't buddy. tell on this podcast. Probably, yeah. probably can't tell those yet. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Those are those are off limits. Those are uh, wow. definitely off limits. I didn't but, think YouTube. Yeah. I didn't think the YouTube crowd would have been like the drug drug and do the show type crowd. Well, let's let's get a little let's. Narrow it down. Well, not necessarily narrow it down. There's, <laughs> Let's narrow there's, down the suspects. The suspects. There's very particular YouTubers okay. who were in that crowd. I would say a probably a majority of them were not, but there's there's some very particular ones. Oh, anyway. That's right, because it wasn't all video game YouTube there. That's right. You had a whole... Okay. All right. Yeah, we had a whole mess of people. Yeah, I think well, I... Well, it was funny. It's funny thing is Maker had created a high school, like click system based on how mm. there were different verticals oh, so like right, right. there was the uh you know the video game section the profitable part of the company mm-hmm. yeah and then the uh that alex and i were in and obviously that's how i started working with you paul yeah but like and by the way i think i always told everyone like all like 90 percent of these youtubers are 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 nightmares but man continues great continues always great. and yep. the most yep. profitable too and yeah. the most and the most profitable <laughs> <Incredibly> stocks <laughs> are up stocks are up baby <laughs> but i always liked that there was like the maker fashion or like the maker there was like a maker sports vertical and yeah. i was like are those guys gonna beat us up like are they gonna come over chad can i can i tell you about a, a youtube channel i think about sometimes and laugh to myself is, is it, it is it is it about a certain naked man with a samurai sword yes it absolutely is <laughs> what? i don't know what can we say can we say the channel name yeah, is that let's allowed see it, let's yeah let's see if it's still allowed. i will, We're not, I will yeah. never forget the name of this channel ninja tyler muscle god <laughs> shouts out <laughs> shouts out to ninja tyler muscle god if you're still out there and that video of you slicing a, a snowman in half with the samurai sword while you're out in the winter with no shirt on and a ninja mask that is That's possibly sick. one of the best videos I've ever seen. <laughs> That's what we were put on this earth to create the internet and then I, make. I I sent the videos to Chad at work and he was like, I can't watch this. He's like, I can't watch this at work. He's like, and then we, but then you kept watching them. You were like, <laughs> well, of course no. you're drawn in. All right. So we need to explain this, by the way, this was a channel that was like in the network, uh-huh. but this is when yeah. Maker had like 50,000 channels. Everyone come on in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. get in here. Everyone's so, like, here. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. And your Tyler Muscle God is here to be in <laughs> underwear and slice watermelon. <laughs> Uh, yeah uh and, and so just like it was always a fun to dive into the smaller channels that we weren't actively ma- you know working with but sure. like alex i don't know how you found ninja tyler muscle god but oh, what man. vertical was he in <laughs> what? <laughs> um he was in the uh, muscle god vertical go- gods yeah yeah gods. The gods oh, god. vertical. Okay, i thought like threats maybe like the threat I, vertical. I just feel like without knowing we never knew the, the the origin of ninja tyler muscle god but imagine a he's uh, he's much like much like cotton eye joe where did he come from <laughs> where, where, did, he where go? did he go that's the scariest <laughs> part of that question where did he yeah. go yeah well like Imagine a uh, tell me if this is any of this is wrong, Alex. Imagine okay. a like a, a, a chubbier Bane who <laughs> like he's muscle, he's muscular. He's just it's like he's not knocking Ninja Tyler Muscle God's physique at all. He was oh. ripped. This dude was like shredded. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. also he's shredded, and he would always wear a mask. You'd never yes. see his face. Yes. No one cared who Ninja Tyler Muscle God was until he wore the mask, and then uh-huh. and half of his videos were samurai sword cutting watermelons Mm -hmm. yeah and then i think it was kind of like muscle building soft core where it was like him just like on a couch in his like whitey tidies and he was like always wet right alex like yeah he was always like sweaty or like he sprayed himself with a spritzer Uh bottle oil yeah uh possibly i know i don't know yeah Uh, and and then and then there was also a small percentage of his videos where he was actually, actually not so small, where he was working out, right? Mm. Yeah. But he was mm-hmm. grunting loudly, mm-hmm. which I think is like a thing that you do when you work out, you know, the exertion sounds. But it was mm-hmm. played up. Oh, it yeah, was no. played up for sure. So he would be, you know, pushing plates, right? And he'd be like, he'd be like, <laughs> well, like, I just I just sent a picture. Was he doing it in this Guy Fox mask that he's wearing? I did. Oh yeah. my god! Guy Fox mask. <laughs> that is that is 2012 in a picture right there. 
Wow. <laughs> Can that just be the thumbnail for this episode? Yes. Oh, no, no. Put a jack-o'-lantern head on him. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the thumbnail for this episode. That's where he is rolling with his jack-o'-lantern homies. That's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we're going to have to do a little bit of post-research after this episode to see if he's still there or Ninja Tyler wasn't, like, arrested for crimes. <laughs> it's, 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 been, it's been a while. It's yeah, been a yeah. hot minute. No, I was just saying, Ninja Tyler Muscle got arrested for robbing a convenience store with a samurai sword or something. Yes, yeah, yeah, or, or yeah, arrested yeah. for being too hot. Yeah, too that too. Well, yeah, I was, yeah, that too. I was searching for him. I got the Ninja Tyler Muscle, and what auto-filled in was dead, which was very ominous. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> what is he okay. can't die I'm, he's too strong I'm, I'm doing the searching now yeah Ninja Tyler Muscle Dead is the top search is all in Google no I don't, th I don't think he's dead I think he just he just went off no. the internet there's no way well, yeah, I'm finding yeah. different channels like his channel might be gone uh, this is very sad I don't even want to put it on the podcast uh, it's, he's not alive anymore I don't think oh no no wait no, no! I Wait, no, listen, we I, don't know Paul, that. I'm on a roller coaster right now. You I'm can't sorry, be doing this I'm to sorry, me, dog. I don't know. I can't figure it out. It's so hard to figure out. I think Ninja Tyler Muscle God represented an idea. An idea. More, yeah, than, a more, person. Than, a, more than a person. <laughs> and that we can all put on Venom masks and uh -huh. like get super swole. Yeah. And then post videos where it's like, there's Snapchat stickers over our crotch with links to say, if you want to see more, go to this website. I uh -huh. forgot about that. Mm -hmm. I forgot yeah. that he was like, had like stickers over his junk and would like advertise other yeah. websites. Yeah. Oh my God. That's right. You're yeah. right. That you channel know. was technically owned by Disney for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was. That's true. <laughs> well, I'm sure they capitalized on him. You know, it's it's the whole gang's here. Mickey, Donald, Pluto, Goofy, Ninja Tyler, Muscle, Muscle God. God. Yeah. I, re I remember a week where I think when we were like pitching different, you know, like what's some new shows we could do on the main channel? <laughs> we, like, we, like we, we, we like stealth Tyler. pushed him. We stealth pushed Ninja Tyler, Muscle God so many times because we bring up the big ones that were in the network, you know, yeah. all the all the big ones. Uh, Markiplier, the Game Grumps. And then, you know, and they should be like, hey, hear me out. Okay? Let yeah. me throw something out there. Ninja Tyler Muscle God. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they'd be like, Alex, this channel's not even your channel. What are yeah. you doing? I know. I think you should have pitched a video where uh, Ninja Tyler Muscle God tries uh -huh. to cut Olaf in half with a sword. <laughs> Who would win? Because I think Olaf <laughs> I think Olaf could take the sword. I think because hasn't Olaf been like decapitated multiple times he's and coming back. he still lives? Yeah, he's coming We're back. About frozen Olaf, right? We're just oh, referring absolutely. to him. But Okay, that's what makes yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, no, he's like speared through the chest on an icicle in the first one, at least. Uh, yeah, I think, I think he'd be okay. I think he'd I be think, able to yeah, handle it. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to hear Josh Gad's take on that. <laughs> on on <laughs> these videos yeah. are making themselves. There's a whole. There's a long, long series to be made out of this. So. Oh, absolutely. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is... It's like death battle, but everybody just fights Ninja <laughs> Tyler Muscle God. Yeah. Who can he cut? Uh, guys, I, I I have no way, no idea how to segue. We we had the segue, we just jumped right past it. Yeah. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of faceless terrors, um, attack of the jack o' lantern. So so Paul, you said this is your favorite uh, uh, bumps. I'm sorry, I lied. I'm sorry that I <laughs> okay. lied to you. Oh. Okay. Wow. I was like excited because I was like, we're gonna do kind of a point counterpoint thing. Um, I mean, I can try and I can try and be the. I guess you want to commit? The you want to commit to the goo? Well, no, only yeah. if you believe it, Paul. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want you to, to be up there as a puppet. I'm right, gonna take for... all. Of, I'm gonna take all of my bad notes. And I'm just gonna flip them and just be, make them into positive notes about this book. I liked that the kids just dictated their 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 candy okay. picking up. For a <laughs> hold while. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, okay, so can I? Can I? Can I say something? Can I sort of? Because this is my first time on the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I? Oh, yeah. Also, can, welcome Alex Octo. Thank you. To the Hi. Podcast, everyone. What's up? I'm I'm Octo. I'm uh, you can find me at AOL keyword Octopim. Um, so, <laughs> so I have not read Goosebumps in I don't know probably twenty five years. Okay, th this is your first one in, in in over two decades. Great. In over two decades, I loved these books mm -hmm. as a kid, as I'm sure many people did. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But my um, elementary school sort of your power and social status were dictated by how many Goosebumps books you had. How much? Yeah. How much fear <laughs> you could handle? Yeah. Yes. So people would bring in their collections. You know, I'm talking 
plastic bins full of goosebumps. Whoa, books. they were like pods for you guys. Jesus. Yes. They, yeah, and we would stack them up, and you would and hit you them with a slammer. You throw books at each other and go, I get all your books now. Yeah, and whichever books landed face up, you would get to take them home. Um, but I specifically remember a, a lot of my favorites. Um and I remember being terrified of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Barking Ghost, mm -hmm. Chakra on Shock Street, sure. uh, uh, Deep Trouble, I remember actually oh, kind of yeah. thinking was kind of lame. Um, I don't remember them being written this badly. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Um, I have a lot of thoughts, especially about the first probably f uh, six chapters of the book, but sure. I want to... you. Go first. You you two go first. I got to say the cover on this one. There's a cool dog uh -huh. on it, which never gets... <laughs> Wait, never what? Gets, did you see yeah. the cool dog on the cover? There's oh, a cool God, dog with a pumpkin There's a head. cool jack-o'-lantern dog. Like, I'm going to guess a pit bull of some sort, or a bulldog. And he mm -hmm. squanders Yeah, Mr. That. Worldwide. Oh. oh, my God. There totally is. <laughs> he squanders it. But here's the thing. You know what would have really taken it to the next level? Jack and Lantern owl, but we didn't get oh, that. There's an owl back goodness. there, but that's just oh, a regular. It would have been a cute, like little gourd pumpkin too. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, we just get the we just get the jack o' lantern. A lot of missed um, opportunities here. Seriously, <laughs> um, but please, I, I want to hear your thoughts on it first before I. <laughs> well, I mean, go off. okay. So what we like to do is we'll go through it and we'll you know, well let's just like walk through this book. Let's just unpack sure. this book. That okay. you know, this one starts off with Dad. Yeah. Oh, Dad Don't is, call me Elf. Oof. Dad yeah. is picking a fight with every kid in the neighborhood. <laughs> Listen, can we just say, I'm sorry, I can't remember the narrator's real name. What is it? Uh, Drew. Uh, Drew. Drew. Drew, maybe? Drew. Drew. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Drew. Okay. Um, And she, her dad kind of sucks. He's a bad dad. He's not a very good dad. He makes fun of mm. all her friends. He calls, yeah, he calls her friends chubby, which is, yeah, which is like, what real the hell? messed up. I thought I thought this is what a dad was supposed to do. I guess I was wrong. I was like, this guy is bringing it good. Just <laughs> he's just bringing the heat. Kids. Yeah, really, just chip out the emotional strength these kids have. You're yeah, painting yeah. a real clear picture of a Midwest dad for me right now, Chad. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Do you think? Do you think R.L. Stein is kind of like working through his own dad issues with this? I guess so. He's from he's from Ohio, so he's from the Midwest, basically. So yeah. Well, here's here's the thing. I'm wondering about this is either I, I had two pictures here when 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 the narrator would describe her dad mm -hmm. um it, one either this is R.L. Stein's dad <laughs> and he's working through his sort of like <laughs> his own suppressed father issues with this or uh -huh. the dad is R.L. Stein and he's um... trying to show how what a cool funny dad he is in real life typically I would say in in our experience from reading Goosebumps books it's uh -huh. the latter. It's RL putting himself in there. Either he's the cool kid who's got great jokes, uh -huh. or he's the cool dad who's got great jokes. One or the other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think you're on right, something right, right. with that. Yep. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's probably the latter. Alex, yeah. as we go through these episodes too, we also seem to kind of run through the, the filter of RL wrote these stories, uh, channeling his angry kid who didn't get to have these adventures. Mm. Like that's the remember that's a filter he talks about sometimes of like he tells people that he had like asthma and he had to stay indoors, so he wrote these stories about what happened to other kids. So it's kind of mm. like, did he watch other kids trick or treat, and, and did he did he loathe them and want them to <laughs> trick or treat forever, forever and For ever and ever? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be the worst fate, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I'll show those kids. I'll show those kids who are showing off out there, getting all that candy. I'll make them eat candy forever, forever. <laughs> He, everyone, you're, now the vindictiveness of R.L. Stein is really starting to shine through it retroactively for me in all these books. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, the other thing I, I and I won't mention it yet because we'll wait till we get to the end. But um, a lot of Goosebumps had a twist ending, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they had some sort of like whoa oh kind of yeah. moment, but uh, they didn't always. No. And I don't know if he did that intentionally to be like, oh. If you had a book that you just read that had a uh oh twist ending and this one didn't, maybe that's like a sigh of relief. Like, whoo, I thought something was gonna <laughs> bad was gonna happen to them, but they're safe. Thank goodness. That final you know, spook like, didn't come through. You're always waiting for the like the end spook, right? Right, 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 right. The final the final the fear, fi if you final, will. The final, the final, the final fear. fright. Yeah. I mean, there's mm -hmm. more there's more twist endings than not. And I think this is maybe one of the best examples of a nut bar twist in the series. Elaborate on that. Please tell me what that means. 
What what would it be nut well, bar is? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we should I think we should wait until the end to okay, discuss the twist right. end. Sure. Let's but, let's lay down the track a little I'm, bit. So I'm, yes, 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 I'm sidebar in what a nut bar is too, because I really need to know what that is. It's like crazy. It's out of control. Oh, yeah. not, so, not so crazy. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah nuts. Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally nut bar mode. A, wonk, totally a wonka bar. bar. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, wacky wonka bar. All right, cool. So okay. we have we have Drew, aka Elf, because she has dainty fingers and a pointed chin, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she hates her nickname, and she particularly hates how much her past Halloweens have been ruined by these two other cooler kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ru and ruined is very strong word that she's using uh -huh. here. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but I think it was a little strong. Mm -hmm. I well, mean, it's Halloween. I think it's the time. I mean, uh, next to April 1st, I think it's the time for pranks. Yes. And yes. goofs and scares. It's the time for pranks, but I want to talk particularly about the first flashback. Because, again, this is oh, the, God. the great narrative storytelling of we're in the present. But let me tell you what happened two years ago. Years ago. Gonna, and I, then let me tell you what happened a Jeff, year ago. Year ago. I'm going to do this to you real quick. Because I do think before we do the first flashback, we should lay out who all the kids are. So that everyone knows. Right, right, right. Good idea. Right, right, right. Because we got, we got Drew, elf girl. Uh -huh. I don't remember her friend's name. Uh, Warren McCormick. What's his name? McCormick. <laughs> War oh what's his name? Walker? Walker. Uh, Walker. 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 Yeah. Walker. And then she's got the twins yeah, that the are her friends yes, too. Yes, the chubby twins, which is it really again, come on, Dad. Mm -hmm. Back off. Yeah. You don't make yeah, fun yeah, of yeah. Don't <laughs> Walker like that. Well, uh, we'll get to the twins again eventually. Oh yeah, oh but... yeah. So then and then there's the two the two bullies, sort so to speak. Two bullies, so to speak, Lee and and Tabby. Tabitha, I think. Tabby and Lee, that's right. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee is funny because he just has these outrageous like little kid brags like he talks about his 42 speed bike to walker i think which is just and he's always chewing gum yeah, which it, is a, yeah. a interesting character trait that actually the more i read about it the more my teeth hurt yeah because i just thought about because we've all been in that moment like you know after halloween you have a, a double bubble right yes and you eat it and then it loses its flavor so you put another one in there and then you put another one in there and, and you eventually stack, you can't and stop stack and stack right. yeah well yeah, and then also uh -huh. you're just chewing like Two week old gum, right? Yeah, You're, mm -hmm. it's just cud in your mouth, kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah, and that's that's sort of the the feeling I got whenever they described Lee because they talked about how like he would have like drool coming out of yes, his mouth. Yes, the drool. While he what was... was up with that? <laughs> it <laughs> was also, so gross. But also, the girls all love him apparently, which I thought was really great. Yeah, that that mm -hmm. that comparison, that drooly uh -huh. boy. And then there's Tabby, Tabby, who uh, has the most half assed insults I've ever heard in my entire life. Like mm -hmm. I, I wrote one out because I was just like, "Wow, that's that's your best." Stuff. <laughs> Did you get a haircut? Tabby asked me, studying my windblown hair. No, I replied. I didn't think so. She said, "Smooth her ha perfect hair back with one hand." What is that? What is yeah, that? It's like catty. It's like catty. Uh, like old moms more than anything, right? I, like, I, uh, Tabby to me is the most half-assed written popular girl yes, I've ever yes, read. Yes, yes. She's she's like she, it's like R.L. Stein. Took one of the girls from Mean Girls. I mean, you know, before it even came out. But sure. then just like sort of stripped away any actual meanness and just was sort of a passive aggressive kind of like annoying <laughs> yeah. popular girl. Just like a kind of like a fart of a girl. Can, yeah, uh, just a fart. Yeah. <laughs> a fart. Of, well, I so I should I should mention something. Yeah. So I had never read this book when it was released, but. I had seen the TV show. Mm -hmm. I had seen the episode of this specific episode. Oh, cool. Oh, and, yeah. Yes. And I remember very clearly this episode. But um, so when I was reading the book, it was interesting to see, you know, the book versus the, the episode. But there is something I do want to point out later on about. Can I can I bring up the episode yeah. once oh, we yes. get to certain things? Absolutely. Yeah. Also, okay. Please, awesome. Please, we, we, we constantly talk about the TV shows, especially whenever one of us didn't read the book. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh, it's, uh -huh. it's very easy for us to talk. Oh, about the TV oh. show. Right, right, right. Okay. Great, great, great. Right. Okay. So, we, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if you want to bring it up now, I mean, we can always jump around. No, We're no, fine no. with jumping around. There's there's one thing I want to bring up, up, but it has to do with the ending. So, okay. we'll wait till okay. the okay. ending. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, there, there's, there's, been, there's been bad pranks in the past on Halloween. Yes. 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 And the first one is pretty fucking extreme, I'd <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah. What's the first one? Is that the one the, with the, the blocking the door? Yes. Oh, there, yeah. Well, blocking the door is part of it, right? The first one is... 
essentially a Halloween party at Tabby and Lee's, even though they're yes. not related. They're just friends always mm-hmm. hosting stuff together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> the parents of the party are suddenly gone because it's parental supervision. Keep in mind, they're 10. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want to point that out. They're 10 years old <laughs> yeah. at an unsupervised Halloween party. Yeah. Like, no, 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 yeah. What? What is going on here? I initially assumed the parents not being there was part of the fake out. Uh-huh. Uh, no, no. The kids, the parents just were not there. I thought the parents were involved in the fake out too, which which was going to rate, like, ratchet up the fucked upness of this prank, like, tenfold. Yeah. Uh-huh. It only uh-huh. goes up, like, fivefold with ha- what happens. It's still pretty fucked up. I thought up. for sure it was the parents. So the, the prank is... While they're having a party, they are just uh, there's a break in and a man in a ski mask and a man in a gorilla mask uh, hold the kids hostage and make them do push ups. Yeah, they tell them to get on the ground, hit the floor. And, <laughs> you know, I went back and looked at this. It's not implicitly written, but I think it's implied there was a gun in one of their hands. Yeah, there feels like there's a gun in that there's scene. There's a the gun whole time in that somehow. scene. I can feel I that there's don't... a gun. I don't I don't remember them specifically saying it, but I get that energy. You know, there's big gun energy, yeah. And and can I can I say that one of the things that was most interesting about it is don't they come up from the basement? Yes. They were yeah. already in the house. So it's not like they busted in, which to me would be freakier. Yeah. Like yeah. if they were trying to get in or they got in through the window, I'd be like, oh shit, here comes some people. But they were already in the house. Right. Like get the shock factor of the break in, you know, and then that yeah, could yeah, be the yeah. prank. But instead they pulled the gun and told them to get on the ground, which was which was yeah. just like a mortal terror. Do push ups for three hours is <laughs> yeah. what they say. Yeah, yeah. And then they do it and then they talk they call it, hey, it's just a party joke, guys. Which mm-hmm. I didn't know was a thing. Party jokes apparently are a big thing. Maybe in the early nineties they were. <laughs> uh-huh. But I missed is, out on that. Is is this the prank where they knock over the can of Pepsi that's dis- described oh. very specifically? Oh, I thought so much about that can of Pepsi getting yeah, knocked me over too. and there were no ramifications of it. <laughs> yeah. There's they're literally like RL, my boy RL talks about he's like i walked over and knocked over a can of pepsi on the ground and it went everywhere and i'm like "Uh oh someone's in trouble and then they never <laughs> talk about it again i had that same panic of like get get, get some baking soda on that go hurry yeah it, it feels like there was like a subplot that got cut about like them getting in trouble for like ruining their parents house or something for the like pepsi yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah but maybe they got cut mm-hmm. in like a in a second draft or something like that yeah 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 uh-huh so the so the to uh, Lee and Tabby? Tabby Tabby yes yes Tabby's parents shared parents come over and they're like oh is there a is there some hijinks going on with some neighborhood kids that you hired to do this and we we're just probably drunk oh what's going on and, <laughs> we're like, just and, probably <laughs> drunk <laughs> probably <laughs> drunk for our, I think they went over to an adult party where all the adults just get sloshed and make out sure. and then they come back over they had one and a half glasses of wine and they're tanked. Oof. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the second? But then, like, it jumps to like, now let me tell you what happened one year ago. We need to mention that the that the the assailants were they were high school kids, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Big so brute. How did the how did they get them in on the joke? I can't remember. Yeah, there's was no it like, like there's no like implying that they're like co- like cousins or like brothers or sisters or anything. They're just two older kids that had nothing better to do than go to a 10-year-old unchaperoned party <laughs> and pull a gun on some kids and make them do make them do push-ups. Yeah. What the, the hell, man? What was even with the push-ups? That's weird. That's <laughs> I weird. think I there know. was some sort of like, this is what coach makes us do, so we're going to make them mm, do it, that kind of yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big jock energy, too. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah, BJE, for BJ sure. BJE. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot wrong with this, but... Despite all of it, Halloween is ruined because you got a prank pulled on you. Again, Alex, you said it. The second best time of the year to do pranks. You got to take it in stride and say, Mamma Mia, that's a Halloween. I got pranked. Yeah. You got a good Halloween. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was going to say, I think the more more distressing part of that entire story is that the twins, their costume was big snowman. Mm -hmm. Twin snowman made out of giant balls of styrofoam. That's not going to (laughs) biodegrade anywhere, kids. No. That's a huge... That's a huge trash pile. Oh yeah. Come on, you... be environmentally conscious here, kids. Well, well, I guess I guess those two don't care about our planet, but we'll yeah. get to that later. We'll Good get to point. that later. Good point. <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 talk. You know what? Put that put a pin in that one. We'll come back to that one. Yeah, maybe there's some tech they're sitting on that's gonna help us. <laughs> yeah, out. yeah. Oh, we use our we use our replicator to make these. It's no <laughs> big deal. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Right. Yeah. Uh, so, they, so, they, <laughs> that, so they jump back two years, and then we go back. I guess we come back to the present briefly, right? And then we jump back to another. Uh, year. I don't know. This is a nightmare way to read a book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's that was my whole thing that I wanted to mention is uh, Elf or uh oh wow what's her real name again? I'm sorry. Drew. I keep Drew, Drew. Drew. Drew is a, a completely unreliable narrator for the first five chapters of this book. It's, and that's but what mostly, really bugged you was that she was. Yeah. Unreliable. That's what bugged. Mo- the most because it felt like every cliffhanger was a and then this happened but that was two years ago mm-hmm, and yeah. you know mm-hmm. it's sort of it's sort of a this is the the worst halloween ever but that was that was a year ago mm-hmm. oops just kidding i was like wow we're really already getting to like the worst halloween ever oh but this is a flashback and mm-hmm. then they kind of don't really establish that it's a flashback unless i missed that paragraph but like they just she just sort of starts talking about previous yeah. halloweens without yeah. actually saying like you know the like she yes, doesn't really the, give you that we need the audio <laughs> and visual sound effect i would love to see the, the type out of from wayne's world so flashback uh-huh yeah her yeah you do a little bit of like a like a little chime little chime and then i can't even think like what is what is the the second flashback i can't even remember what happens in that it's even worse than because they it's not even that they get pranked their prank falls apart and we can explain how they they come up with this great there's a whole chapter dedicated to their ideas for the pranks and it's a real like blue sky anything goes (laughs) session the whiteboards up there just questions like what scares people question mark what is their weakness like in the end? Yeah, of, we're seeing it all. Uh, quiet place. Yeah. yeah, we're seeing it all get all that. We're seeing the sausage made, and there's a lot of bad ideas thrown around. It, most of their ideas are just decorating for Halloween. Like three quarters of them are like just like well, I'm put some like cobwebs uh, up. Yeah, one fucked up one is it escalates from I could drop some cobwebs on them, fake cobwebs. That'd be good. Mm-hmm. Uh, or Walker thinks we should get a real tarantula wrap it up in the cobwebs and drop it. I was like, that's me to the tarantula. He's yeah, going right? to start biting. And then they're, uh-huh. then they're like, next idea is to build a trap door and drop them from a, like a full story down into the basement. <laughs> I completely forgot. What if we just <laughs> kill them? Yeah. What if we literally <laughs> just murder them? Yeah, we're getting like a uh-huh. little Lord of the Flies in this neighborhood, you know? What? Wasn't, there, wasn't there one where they're just like, what if we just drop slime on them? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that? Yes. Yeah. And... The slime it, yeah. burns a hole in the couch, yep. so apparently it's, yeah. it's pretty caustic stuff they're dealing with here. No, it would yeah. it would have scarred those kids yes. forever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's dangerous. And and I'm thinking, where did they get this slime? What slime is this? Oh yeah, they don't even make it or like look up in the back of Nickelodeon magazine. It's right. just Walker just has like bags of slime all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Caustic slime. It's very it's a little it's a little alarming. They're getting Nowadays, like uh-huh. kids be watching YouTube video tutorials about how to make slime out of Elmer's right. glue. Right. It would just be that. some glue mm-hmm. and some some, yeah. some sparkles. Whatever. Some super buff dude in a mask making slime in his kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing if he can cut it with a sword. Ninja Tyler Anarchist God. If you want yeah. to see where else I drop this slime, come over to us. <laughs> come <laughs> over to <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's called a callback joke. Comedy 101. We're nailing it. We're killing it right <laughs> we're, now. We're really nailing it here. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, and it's they're describing, and, and then isn't then the parents come and they see the hole in the couch that the slime burned, right? Right. Uh huh. And then there's this whole thing where they're like, "Oh, I got an earful about that uh, one." And Ooh-wee. it's not even the chapter ending, which is what, like, you know, that's a good chapter ending. You're gonna get grounded, uh-huh. you know. But like, he doesn't mm-hmm. even do yeah. that. He just like. Well, we didn't know what was was due up next, and then we get like the you know the classic RL drop off, and then I don't even remember what happens between that last like fake. Out. Oh, I remember they get the call from Lee and Tabitha that they're not going to show up to the party, and then Halloween's ruined because yeah mm-hmm. they didn't get to terrify some some of their friends or something. Yeah, because they don't get to prank them. Yeah. So they didn't even like go out and trick or treat or anything. They just kind of sat there in their in their slime couch. Yeah, it sounds really... like sounds like their mindset is really what ruined Halloween. It wasn't the prank. Yeah, yeah. or lack of yeah. pranks. Also, mm-hmm. by the way, like I was reading this whole time that like Tabby and Lee. They feel like they're their closest friends. Like in the way, yeah. that, mm-hmm. in the way they're constantly talking to them and like inviting them. Outside of outside of Walker, I feel like they're the people that they talk to and socially interact right? with the most. Right? Yeah. They got some they're like yeah. they're like some bad frenemies. Like they like not Lee and Tabitha. I think that Drew and Walker are the fr- the biggest frenemies here. They yeah, set up yeah, a, yeah. They, yeah. Set up, they set up a home alone level like of tricks in that house mm-hmm. to try and yeah. torture these kids. I can't wait until Lee grabs the the handle to the bathroom and then gets shocked so bad that you see his skeleton. 
<laughs> yeah. I hope Tabitha just steps on a nail and it goes straight through her foot. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, a just a hard cover uh-huh. nail. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they do all they do all this stuff and their Halloween's ruined. And then I don't remember what happens here, like what the the order of events are, but there's we start off it's Halloween now, right? And they're going out trick or treating. And Lee and Tabby are there, and the Drew's there, and she's wearing an outfit that's too long for her, and it's dragging on the ground. <gasps> it's like a princess outfit yeah. that's nicer than the others. Hold on. There's a very important detail that oh. I just remembered oh, that okay. we have to discuss, okay, and please. that is the Klingon costume. Oh, my God, um, yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's okay. right. Okay, so, so um, somebody asks I, – I can't remember. Uh, I think it's – Tabby asks Drew what she's dressed as. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's like, what are you, a mouse? And yeah. she goes, no, I'm a Klingon. Haven't you seen Star Trek? And instantly I'm like, what? <laughs> Ten-year-old child. Yeah. I guess dresses as a Klingon. I mean, I guess. And, oh, and, that and was my, your problem what? with the scene? Was <laughs> that a ten-year-old? Well, there's a lot of work that goes into that makeup, Chad. I mean, it, there oh, really yeah. is. And, and not only that, but I'm like, what's the costume here? <laughs> What's the oh. what is the costume? Is it like a a whole like battle uniform with a right. batleth and everything? Right. Or? <laughs> they gave a full working batleth shirt. Yeah. Does it uh, have the the forehead wrinkles and the hair? That's like, what's what I going was on? Yeah, like she's got. Yeah. It. you know what? She probably just had like some really te- terrible makeup on and was just mm-hmm. like like you know painted up, and that's why she's like, you just look like a mouse right now. You know, I think maybe it was yeah. more in, in like a condemnation of her of the look of her of her uh, of her makeup. It was just poor makeup on her on her. Head right, injury. right, okay. But my my other problem is like you know she's so indignant about this. Like, <laughs> hey, other ten year old child, haven't you seen Star Trek? You idiot! You utter buffoon! Yeah, you know, like, don't yeah. you know what I am? I, I, See, just her in- I, indignation about it is so. I think that's very fair, Alex. I had a problem with the 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 joke from Tabitha of you look like a mouse. I'm like Klingons don't really look like, look like mice, mice at all. At all. If, it, if it was mm-hmm. like a, a a Ferengi with the big ears sure, or something, sure. sure. If you were like a quark. Oh my uh, god! Like, do yeah, you think? I see that you- Jake insult. Do you think R.L. Stein thinks that Ferengis are Klingons and he doesn't know? Do you think he bunts this up? Do you think, oh, do you think, he, do you think up? he do you think he bunts this? Because now that I'm thinking about it, if she had the big ears yeah. and was a Ferengi, that would look like a mouse. Yeah. I think R.L. I think we found some errata, some R.L. errata. Ooh. <laughs> Just be careful with the term erotic because that sounds a little bit more. It does adult. sound, like, it does sound a little erotic. I think. Uh, I, I think we there should have been something else cut in this book, but uh, apparently he didn't catch his own mistake. No. Nope, interesting. Did not. Did interesting. Not. Huh. Okay. Um. That's wow. That's a that's a real noodle scratcher. Um. So yes, but that that was a, a thing that sort of like stuck out to me. And mm-hmm. then and then the fact that she mentioned she wore the same costume the next year. Right. Uh, uh-uh, Drew, that's a faux pas. That's a party foul. You don't yeah, do that. Every you don't wear the same that. Halloween costume. Yeah, you never do that. Especially, what? Es- I had I had to do the same costume for like eight years straight. Chad, well, Chad, listen, you didn't I got get... bad news for you, bud. Yeah, you you. I mean, I hated hard. it. I didn't like it. But at least yours wasn't pissed in because you weren't, you know, held at gunpoint the year before by. Some oh, I pissed in my costume. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, that was that was my big thing. Was just the the specificity of the Klingon costume stuck sure. out to me is very strange. It was odd. It, it, yeah, it, I, it was... I forgot it because they don't mention it for the rest of the the book. They keep talking about like I guess one of them had a Superman outfit, but I couldn't tell who. And I thought Drew did at one point. I was very confused. There, well, because there's mm. this dream sequence in the middle of it. Oh my god, the dream sequence! And that's what really confused things because there's a third Halloween. <laughs> That happens. So you think it's present day Halloween and they're going out and you you know they're up to some hijinks that Drew and, and Walker are gonna are they're trying to get Lee and Tabby again. They go out Halloweening and they end up at a house uh with an old lady uh who loves their costumes and says the husband is just her husband's gonna love this costume. You gotta he come He has in. a hard time seeing from where he sits. Come inside. Yeah, they bring them inside, which look, we all know you don't go in the house on Halloween. Nope. Never mm-hmm, go. Mm-hmm. If anybody's yeah, yeah. if any young children are listening to this podcast for some reason, <laughs> do not yeah. go into any house on Halloween. Don't do it. If, yeah. if an if an elderly couple says, Oh, we'd love to see your costumes in our living room, don't go in there. Especially if after you go in, there's an entire group of <laughs> other kids in there that children. are saying, We don't know how long we've been here. Yeah. If you hear crying children, run. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess yeah. you'll just stay here forever because we like looking at your costumes. It's not sexual at all. It, yeah, just... it's it's real weird. It's really weird. Well, okay, but that detail is that's not a nightmare fake out. That is a cut to reality. A daydream. Drew is daydreaming about that happening. And then there was the line of like, I told the others about my daydream. I could tell from their smiles that they liked hearing about it. I'm like, no, they didn't. No, they, no, did. they no, didn't. didn't. You're having a hard time reading mm-hmm. that. You, Drew. Sorry, Drew. And this is where the unreliable narrator thing comes yes, in. Yes, yes, she, yes. She's just like, <laughs> surprise, it was all a dream. Like, you can't. You can't just do that to me. We're establishing <laughs> trust here. We're trying to establish trust with this book, RL. You can't do that. And mm-hmm. this is what really, this really like pissed me off about her thing. She has this daydream where her where her costume's too too long and it's dragging. And then that same night after her daydream, she goes out and her costume is still too long. You thought about it earlier, Drew. You should have taken care of that before you went out. <laughs> Details, Drew. Details. Come on, you gotta hit us with the deets. Oh, you gotta take care of that stuff before you go out. And then they go out, and they go trick or treating, right? Yeah. And and the main drama of the, again, these are like their best friends because Tabby and Lee are like going out with them and no one else, right? right? And and for being the most popular kids, they only hang out with these two. Yeah, and there's two other neighborhood kids, Shane and Shayna, the the roly poly kids, according to Dad. Uh, they are they're supposedly their better friends than Lee and Tabby, but I don't believe that. Because they hang out with Ling and Tabby a lot more. Shane and Shana only show up when it's time to think up pranks. That's about it, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. I, th- I think so. They sort of establish them as present at the beginning, um, mm-hmm. but they don't really discuss them further than that until later, right? Um, or or they're sort of there for the the planning. Yeah, the planning. Uh, of, yeah, it seems like it seems like the twins are needed for the prank that we don't know about, right? And that they are worried that they're not going to show, right? And after yeah. being like shown the minute and and uh, useless details of every prank prior to this we are then kept in the dark alex as you're saying again another, another mm-hmm. trust issue about what their big prank is for tonight they won't even tell us what shane mm-hmm. and shana are up to with this prank so they're mm-hmm. like we're getting lee and tabby out we'll meet up with you later shane and shana are like we're, we're gonna show up later we got the prank ready we're gonna we got you guys just get them out there set it up right so they go out and they start trick-or-treating and then boom our cover creatures finally show up. Two jack o' lantern Ooh. head people show up, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the effects are great, according to the kids. Oh yeah. How now? Let me ask this question because you talked about the television show. How does it look in the television show? So in the <laughs> television show, as far as I remember, the the heads, mm-hmm. um, it sort of just looks like carved foam. You know, okay. you would get like, you know, sure. like the, the carved down foam. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can attack. No oh, real, no jack-o. real flames though. Uh, I think it's sort of like spooky lights. Okay, yeah, like glowing, uh, glowing warm electric light. I oh yeah, okay. No, wait. There's actually no lights in them at all. Oh, so here's oh, that's a like here's the a photo. Entire thing they have going that's on is what's fire so scary the about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess that's a fun design. That's a it's okay. The TV yeah, yeah. version. Yeah, yeah. They're not bad. No, they're not. It's not terrible. I mean, you know, they've got they've got the evil eyes. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. And then let's see. Yeah, they're like yeah, kind of like squashed one. in like a weird sinister way too. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, a very, that... it's a very name before Christmas pumpkin. Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, the wrinkly mm-hmm. eyes is what really gets me. Those little like. Yeah. Well, I, I would thought I was so thrown off by the fact that like they seemed like they were just described as adult sized like mm-hmm. towering creatures. Mm-hmm. Like, so are they can't be the twins, right? These are supposed to be the twins. That's but part of not, mm-hmm. it's part of their so, prank magic. Chad is that they were able yeah, to. Yeah, they're wearing them. platform boots. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they got yeah they got those like '90s uh, platform boots on the Spice Girls boots. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The go-go boots. The go-go boots. Yeah, there, yeah. there it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they they run into them right, and these these things look scary, and and I, Lee and Tammy are not scared, but the our main characters, you know, they're a little creeped out because there's some real fire going on there. It's impressive looking, uh, and right. they they promise. Oh, oh my God. We for, I, I'm sorry, I jumped ahead. I took us here. I forgot to mention the no, detail no. before they go out trick or treating. Mom warns Drew that uh, you know, oh, there's a news right. story. Oh yeah, there's a news story. That there's disappearances. Yes, four adult people have disappeared, and of course, in the in a, in a weird uh, editorial thing that I don't think I understand a newspaper actually doing, they refer to them as. Four fat people have gotten have gotten kidnapped. <laughs> I missed that detail entirely. Was that that was in the description? The That's news- four fat so's lost today. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what newspaper? Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, but they they're it's terrifying. There are real adults that have gone missing, and mm-hmm. 
And her mom's like, don't go out. And then dad's like, they'll be fine. Safety in numbers. It's all good. Again, dad. <laughs> dad doesn't really care about Drew that much. You can kind of tell. But yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They, so they, they're allowed to go out. And, and look, then we don't hear anything else about this this detail because we get we find we run into the, the pumpkin heads and they're 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 full of fire and and terrifying looking and uh, against mom's best wishes uh, they go off the beaten track right they leave mm-hmm. the neighborhood because the jack o' lantern yes. heads tell them that they have an even better neighborhood with great candy which I know all I know you guys know this if someone tells you there's a neighborhood with better candy bars that's given out oh, full yeah. size candy bars oh, you're, yeah you were going to that neighborhood. If they said it was a rich neighborhood, yes, yeah. I would go to the rich yes. neighborhood for yes. sure. They all, I mean, I do want to I mention, I, I guess I just forgot about this as a kid, but they talked a lot about, like, oh, this neighborhood. There was all these long driveways to go down to to get candy. It was mm-hmm. exhausting. I'm like, what? What? Like, if I never was factoring in, like, a length of sidewalks or what it but maybe that's oh, the yeah, thing I you just have to well about. they have yeah, the, the more you got to hoof around the less time you're, you're ringing doorbells which is the appeal of this neighborhood apparently it, yeah, it has yeah. very short distances between houses mm-hmm, mm-hmm. well yeah they do say they're running through yards i'm like cool that's not allowed you walk on the sidewalk god damn <laughs> yeah it. you respect yeah. that grass yeah 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 they take a lot of, they spend a lot of time making that grass look mm-hmm. nice hoa is going to have their ass if they don't have that Ooh. grass looking nice you know what mm-hmm. i mean um so I think it's inevitable discussion, but what is I have to ask everybody, what is your yeah. favorite Halloween candy oh, to get? Geez. Oh, oh geez. I think it's an appropriate topic yeah. to talk about considering yeah. the subject matter. Yeah. Um I mean in the past, I when I actually trick or treated, I was the kid that loved Smarties and would trade everyone wow. candy for their Smarties. You are I'm, not a human. Nobody <laughs> No, I know. I was an easy mark. I couldn't figure out why everyone was just trading me all of their Smarties all the time. I was like, whoa. I mean chalk. If you, sugar chalk, sugar I'm so excited. Chalk. If the, if you truly enjoyed that, Chad, then like you were a king on Halloween. Oh yeah, I did great. I suppose that's true. Yeah, you know, live your live your best life. Yeah, you know? man. You you do you, <laughs> um, Chad. Yeah, I I I would say my personal favorite was Butterfinger. I love Butterfinger. Oh, Butterfinger. Yeah. You, know, you get the good, little yeah. the little Butterfinger squares, what like was the, the, the mini ones. What was the yeah. other brand? Uh, Fifth Avenue, maybe? Or what was the other one? That Fifth was... Avenue. That's a fancy bar. Oh, yeah. It was, what's the, it, there was one that was kind of like Butterfinger. It was like the same like the, like Ooh. same deal, right? Where it was like not flaky. Mr. Good Bar. Uh, it was it was Fifth, it, it was Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue was like the fake Butterfinger. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I never had one. I think it's not as um, good. It's not as good as a as a Butterfinger. I I remember ending up liking Charleston Chew a lot after when I got sure. them for one Hall- Halloween. That's that's a rare one. Not a lot of people like a Charleston Chew. Uh, I had a, a, a one of my mods in my stream sent me uh, an entire bag of Charleston Chew and they were gone in like three days because i ate all of them oh, good man. good i love i love charles Jew. and anytime i tell somebody that they're like are you from like the 1920s like <laughs> yes, what is wrong yeah. with you yeah it's like those and uh peanut chews do you guys have peanut chews when you were you it, growing up is that the like it's like a caramel but it's just a, a peanut butter like toffee with white stuff in the middle it's the closest you can get to eating concrete covered in chocolate they're, oh, oh maybe it's different oh i know this they're super oh, they're made in the in Phil- the philadelphia area so that's why okay, we okay. always have them. Ah, uh, okay. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. they're mm-hmm. a terrible candy. They're more absolutely atrocious. Uh uh-huh, uh-huh. You didn't want them. No, we had I, we had the like off brand in Indiana at least. My parents would, and other neighbors would always get the yeah, the off brand. Like it was like a caramel, but kind of like a peanut butter caramel with nondescript white like frosting cream in the center. Oh, I it don't felt know. like a it felt like a candy from the 1920s. Uh-huh. Does anyone you know what I'm talking about? Like a candy that you would buy at like the Willy Wonka shop where Charlie gets the gold Yes, ticket. it would be mm-hmm. in the candy yeah. store in a big glass jar mm-hmm. and he'd be like, "Those are called Osamos or whatever." And he'd be like, yeah. "Yeah." Yeah. Yeah, a couple sucker dudes. You 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 find them in a in a gas station in like the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yes, exactly. They've been there since the gas station was built. Yep, 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 yep. I you know I gotta say mine would obviously be for me Reese's Reese's peanut butter cups. But but oh but, what's not to love? I mean they're 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 incredible. But as a kid, I gotta say Dark Horse a box the big box with the two sides of nerds because you could mm. chomp on those for like you could make that thing last for like an hour. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? I did love nerds a lot. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. As a kid. Probably nerds. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Nerds nerds were good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd say runner up for me. Now, okay. Mm-hmm. Hold your judgment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whoppers. Sure. I'm, oh, no. Whoppers I are great. I am 100% on board with Whoppers. I'm yeah. with That's you. so funny. Everybody I talked to was like, ew, Whoppers. 
Gross. I love Whoppers, Whoppers is more of an adult. I think when you want that like um, crunchy malt, spoiled milk, malt crunch, that's more of an adult taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's more refined taste. Yeah. So all of you out there being like, "Ew, Whoppers, grow up, come yeah. on." <laughs> if you don't enjoy the taste of a chocolate covered crunchy spoiled milk, there's something wrong mm -hmm. with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Well, we also get in this story, we get like a description of like everything they pick up. Oh, I feel RL like. goes off mm -hmm. on some candies. Okay. Here, oh, yeah. Here's one that he threw out there that I forgot about, and then I had to look it up, and I saw it, and I I flashed back. It's kind of akin to getting a pack of Smarties. Chuckles? Do you guys remember Chuckles? No, I don't. No, what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the picture real quick. Chuckles. I don't like them. It, I don't like the idea of them. They are not good. Chuckles they are a bad candy. candy. Uh, and I, I, I saw them because I pulled them up. You'll remember them as soon as you see the picture of them. Uh, here we go. Copy image. Uh, oh, are these like like sort of like gumdrops? But sort of. Oh. Shit. They were always hard, though. They're always old and hard. This is something my dad would have gotten at a gas station for sure. Here's the problem. There's a licorice one in there, which is fucked up. That Ooh. you would do that. To <laughs> That's like a Russian roulette if you're just yes. eating them and not looking. Yeah. yeah you can yeah, accidentally put yeah. that one. It looks like grape, too, kind of, if you don't know. Ugh. Mm, Ugh. True, true. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. They look like uh, like jelly babies a little bit. I don't think yeah, I had jelly baby. I can see that. Talk about jelly baby real quick. Jelly babies are um a British candy. Okay. Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, they do. Uh, oh, yes, they definitely have that vibe. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, are jelly babies just Sour Patch Kids for the UK? Is that what it is? They're not sour. They're, they're not, not sour. They're just they're, sugary duck. They're just they're just sweet. They're like gummy bears, but they're people shaped, which is a little weird. No, that is um, a little weird. Uh. <laughs> But yeah, uh, whenever I have a friend that goes to the UK, uh, I always ask them to send me back a pack of Jelly Babies because they're actually pretty. Good. They're adorable, but <laughs> yeah, they're, they look adorable. But Chuckles, I don't, I don't remember these candy. I don't. Uh, that feels like a Philly candy. candy for sure. I don't know that they're. I don't know. Uh, I just know that they're probably an older candy, and I think they're probably one of RL's favorites, and that's why he snuck them in there. Mm. Yeah, I think a Crunch Bar gets a reference, and a couple other ones, but. Oh, I mean, uh, I is... can read you the list. There's a list right oh, here. Oh, please, uh, uh, let, please. Let me pull it up real quick. The, oh, uh, please do. You know you want to hear the the candies. Well, here's the list of all pop culture references. Star Trek, obviously, MTV, Silver Surfer, Batman, Wonder Woman. Candies. <gasps> here's our candy list. Good. It's a good candy list. Kit Kat, M&M's, Hershey Kisses, mi and Milk Chocolate Bars, Tootsie Roll, Three Musketeer, Milk Way, Nestle Crunch. Nestle Crunch is the best on that list, I would, I would say. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I love a Nestle Crunch. What, what do you think's yeah, better? What do you think's go, better? I can, go, I can go with some corn rice, some some milk corn yeah, rice. Yeah, put corn in my candy. <laughs> mm, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you that. It's the I'll go Milky Way probably over it a little bit first. Milky Way. Listen, if we're if we're going with the crunch, then I would probably give Bunch of Crunch the edge <laughs> oh, over Nestle absolutely, Crunch. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. The crunch yes. per inch is higher. Yeah, the CPI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, there's more yeah. surface area for that crunch yes, somehow yes. on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crunch surface area, uh, <laughs> CSA. Not to forget that you know a couple other things were given out, and this. By the way, this is the part of the story where like any savvy reader is like, oh yeah, they're in a haunted town, like this <laughs> yes. is some sort of yes. some sort of nightmare suburb. But the people giving out the candy are still real people. Yeah, like it's really that. Did that throw you guys at all? Yes. I I I thought that this neighborhood was like a phantom zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, but it. It seems like it was just a real ass neighborhood. Yeah, I, yeah. They they never ask like what town they're in or anything, but the, yeah. the adults are all acting as if it's real. There's even an adult who's like in the Phantom Zone. Mm -hmm. An adult that's like, we're out of candy. We have nickels. Yeah, and, yes, and there's yeah, and there's ones that are like, it's getting late, guys. The Phantom Zone's gonna close down. You got to get out of here. Yeah. So <laughs> was this just a random actual neighborhood that the pumpkins liked? I guess. Well, okay. So what happens? This whole section. I don't know if this this section was like a one a, a drudge. One it was just terrible to get through, uh, mm -hmm. because it was just the same thing over and over again. It was a, a cycle of them eating, getting too much candy, being tired of candy, carrying the candy, then the lantern people telling them that they had to eat the candy, and then repeat over th that oh. over and over again. And what is keeping them there, by the way? Because that was my constant question. I'm like, just leave. Yeah, just, just leave. Well, well they, no, uh, they do address that. They do address that, Chad. Well, well that's what's it. The, their answer to them first saying they don't want to do this anymore is the jack-o'-lanterns spin in a circle and shriek? Yes. In that, in some actual frightening imagery, they create like a like a, 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 like a summoning circle, a reverse summoning circle that traps them within. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I just thought, I saw it as more fantastical and fun in my head as much as like, oh boy, oh boy, I didn't want you guys to keep spinning. That would be, ugh. Yeah, they create that force field of fright around them. <laughs> and then, Paul, you brought up, yeah, the, the, when they, it's like, we're full. Our bags are full of candy. We can't carry it anymore. Ten. You guys have uh-huh. been there before, right? Where you've had like two. Oh, well, here, let's, let's get something out of the way. Mm-hmm. You don't, you either, here's, here's the real tech, right? You <laughs> okay. either take a garbage bag, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Or you take a pillowcase. Yeah, mm-hmm. pillowcase was always my preferred, yeah. Yes, pillowcase, pillowcase, pillowcase was good because it could also be a fun little pattern to mm-hmm. match your costume. Mm-hmm. Um, let me tell you out there, uh, kids, if you're going trick-or-treating, don't bring a pail, all right? Oh. That's, that's, that's low-tier stuff. Yeah. Don't, don't take a pail. <laughs> <Low-tier>. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that... Did one of them have a bucket? Was that described? No, I'm just thinking about like trick or treating tr- technology yeah, that we have in movies. In in Halloween propaganda in movies, they show them with buckets, which is bullshit. Nobody uses a that's bucket. nobody does that. Nobody Don't does. take a bucket. A fool right? brings a bucket. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking about trick or treating in general. Right it's now. nice. But, I'm sure. glad you're putting a PSA out there for people. I think yeah, that's that's, really... that's I'm helping you, the <laughs> listener. Um, yeah, but it's uh uh. No, and and so they the go and describe the the human it's like the the human ass neighborhood, right? Yeah, it's it's it seems human ass. I mean, I don't know. I didn't see anything too weird about it, right? Yeah. No, well, no, they just they and they keep having. I I get that this has to happen for the sake of the story, but the they try to tell someone at one of the doors, uh, hey, we're being held hostage by people with with jack o' lantern faces. They're not here right now, so they're not next to us mm-hmm. and then they always the dolls are like oh what a funny story goodbye and slam the door I'm like just ask to use the phone say you're lost i don't know do anything, anything. yeah right 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 S- say a yeah. bad man kidnapped you and they are in the bushes and you want to come inside <laughs> anything well and then, then don't they don't they like start complaining about how they have too much candy yes and yes. then and then they get they get they get king of the hill real quick <laughs> When he tr- remember when Does he this happened to the King of the Hill? He, I don't remember. You don't this. remember when Bobby gets caught smoking cigarettes? Hank makes Bobby oh. smoke a, a carton of cigarettes until he's sick, and that's what they do to them with the candy. Yeah, they make them eat all the candy, they right? Candy until they're sick. It's terrible. They're like, just open up the bags and start eating in front of us. We we will watch. Yeah, this is fun. Put it in your human mm-hmm. bag and your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's they torture them with that for a little bit, and then they make them start it out, start it over again. They go the back out on the on the track. And they start getting more candy. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, that's the dredge you're talking about, Paul, where it's kind of yes. like once you've got – it's a scary idea, right? Like people kind of kidnapping you and coercing you to do stuff. Like yeah. that could be a really terrifying story. But around the time it's like chapter 10 of that. Yes, yes, yeah. And the image of them where they're like you know, fl- floating around, creating a little force field around them and stuff, that was actually kind of scary. But they didn't like – they didn't amplify that. They just kept doing that same trick over and over again. And it just got a little, just a little repetitive, right? Like the first. Yeah, yeah. there was one line where you know they, they they complain again, and one of the jack o' lanterns leans forward with the flames, and and Drew says like, if we didn't eat the candy or kept shopping, we would be in the flames. I'm like, do you think they're what? gonna you think they're gonna burn you alive? <laughs> Maybe they're gonna vore them, like you like oh eat them into the jack o' lantern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll be they'll be vored and burned alive at the same uh-huh. time. At the, the worst same way time, to go. yeah. There's, there's like a period in fire hell inside <laughs> of their mouths waiting for them. Yeah. Uh, I, do we? I, go ahead. Sorry, I had a very very specific joke that would no, not please. play, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. okay. You want me? You want me to let it rip? Let it's it rip, really baby. dumb. Yeah, dude, let, let it, it rip. rip. There's an episode of Xena Warrior Princess. Okay. Wow. Do you do you remember when Lucy Lawless like? Injured her leg on a horse riding accident, and so the actress that played Calypso, her her nemesis, had to like take over because they like swapped bodies. No. Oh, is that why that happened? I just ran that we would watch that show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's an episode. There there was like a few episodes where that happened because you know she was mm-hmm. out and injured, and she, she her leg had to recover, so she can do all the stunts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but they swapped bodies, and in one episode, she was like, "Huh." I wonder where Calypso's at. And then it flashes over to like Xena, like Lucy Lawless's body, like in flames and she's screaming. She's like, <laughs> like screaming. And and I that's what I imagine is inside of the inside of the jacket. Just the little children. This Shane is a really Shane. long story. Shane and Shane are just in there screaming. Just yeah, like yeah, 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 be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being engulfed. 
I love that. Uh-huh, I love uh-huh. that image. That's terrifying. Mm-hmm. See, you should have written yeah. this book, Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. How does Calypso's story resolve from that when she was just Oh, I, I think they swap bodies back or something. I don't remember. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying and way more terrifying uh-huh, than what uh-huh. happens in this book, which is the same yeah. thing over and over again until I don't even How does it end, guys? I don't even remember it. Well, well, I know how it ends. I I just wanted to see if you guys got caught on they go to another adult who is a off-duty police officer <laughs> I don't, oh my god yes oh i and, forgot about that oh and, you're right and he's just like uh yeah leave me alone kids i'm off break and i'm going inside yeah, and just shutting the door. So it's, it's like it's a real town right. where people work right and also what a surprise the cops aren't there to help you that's right i said <laughs> damn that. topical hell yeah topical that's all I have yeah, to say. That's great. That. No, that's I mean that's a great point. And that's what happens is they 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 see that there's an uncaring world around them and they I think they finally just submit, right? They're just like, "Oh, fine. Take us. D- destroy us." And the <laughs> the the pumpkin heads uh I think then they reveal uh that I don't even know. They take their Oh, that's no, right. There's, that's there's what, one more beat between there's a beat before that. Okay, Paul, okay. The, uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, the, there's the unnecessary beat of they're keeping forced to go through this, you know, gauntlet. Mm-hmm. And now people answering the door are Jack or Lantern Head. Yes, that's right. Like, it flips. Mm-hmm. Which is what, it should have probably just been the, the first place, right? To explain why these are, are if people. They were like, if they were like a bunch of no faces showing up, being like, oh, 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 and just like giving them candy, like that would have been cooler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, if they had had Slender Man faces where there's no details, horrible. Oh, cool image, Oh, that, right? that would have been a little too intense. Yeah, maybe it's too right. scary for kids. Maybe that's our problem here. Sure. Sure. Yeah, 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 let's yeah. pull our punches. Okay, Fine. all right. Pull the punches, and but yeah, so then the pumpkin heads start showing up, and then I think that's like what pisses off Lee and Tabby, and they're like, we're done with this. We don't believe you guys. We know it's Shane and Shayna in there, and they pull their heads off, and then I think it's just there's flame there, and now, Alex, I don't know how they handle this in the show. What the hell even happens in the TV <laughs> episode? What, are you talking about, like, the twist? Yeah, the twist. Like well, the, well, they pull, just where or they even pull, when the heads are off. When they pull their heads off, what oh, the happens? Um, I think there's just, like, so... So here's the thing is the adults are like they're wearing like trash bags Mm -hmm. like that's their that's their thing and I think then they pull the head off it's just like they just frame it so it looks like the shoulders and they just put it over like a mannequin or something oh okay. Yeah, so it's just no it's head just, there. It's just a headless thing, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, in this, mm-hmm. they're they're flame heads, and yeah. uh, I think at that point, uh, Tabby and Lee are done. They they get scared. Mission accomplished. Mm-hmm. Banner drops. They fl- they run off, and uh, and we have Drew and Walker can celebrate. But then, oh, oh and pumpkins are slammed on their heads. By the yes. way, they say mm-hmm. these will be your new heads, and they slam pumpkins yes, down on them. Yes, right. And then it's revealed. We got the big reveal, right? Oh yeah. my god, fuck this reveal. Alex, <laughs> yeah. Alex, I'm gonna let you take this one. So it turns out that Shane and Shayna are aliens. Aliens. Who <laughs> aliens who um have advanced technology and they did this all to help uh I think they did it to to what? To help Drew and, and think, Walker. But like Yeah, they say that. They they say that w- they've secretly known that the twins were aliens for a long time. Yeah. And that's why they hadn't used their alien powers previously. But this year they were really desperate. But all yeah. the last 10 chapters have shown us is that they went through the exact same torture that Lee and Tabby went through. Yeah. 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 They also ate the candy. They also, like, ate, also, they also mm-hmm. like walked around the neighborhood tired and exhausted. You just tortured yourselves. I, I mean, I guess, you know, this is just the, this is a revenge story, right, guys? And they're going to, they sacrifice yeah. their lives for revenge. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is the Quentin Tarantino is, yes. of, of Goosebumps push. <laughs> yes. sure. They lady snow blooded themselves. And not only are they the aliens, every jack-o'-lantern that they encountered person was their brothers and sister aliens. And then they uh-huh. yell out like, thanks everyone for helping us get out of here before they realize you invaded a whole neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like it was a what hundred person organization. Mm-hmm. Yes. They, they, they risked exposing this alien race to society to prank these two kids Correct. yeah there's a sleeper cell of aliens here in this small midwestern town <laughs> yeah. and they used it to prank two 12 year olds there's a sci-fi tv miniseries v of aliens yeah. and they are using it to take over the prank it's crazy well, so <laughs> i'm sorry i have to point something out sure, sure so in the television show the alien the way the aliens look mm-hmm. 
they look like the basilisks from Dark Souls. Whoa. Um, let me see. I gotta let me, see this. I'm put listen, I posted it in chat. No. Oh. <laughs> that is that is what the aliens oh look like. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that is I Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's something. It's something else. I vividly vividly fuck? remember this. Wow. Um, uh, you can tell how it's just hands and a, you know, sticking out of a bag, but still Jesus. Yeah, I vividly remember this. And there you can see they're literally just wearing trash bags. Like yeah, that's yeah. what their their <laughs> cloak is. And then yeah. like, it looks like there's an alien spaceship with a ramp or yep. something in mm -hmm. the background. Yeah, yeah. They show up and they're like, yeah, well, okay. And should we should we give like, so that was the first twist. Should we give the second oh, twist? The, the even oh, better yeah. twist. This all happens yeah. in the last like 10 pages. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the other twist of this is that it turns out that they eat humans, mm -hmm. but only chunky ones. Mm -hmm. And and uh, they say, because Drew asked them, well, what do you eat? We've never seen you eat before. And they're like, oh, don't worry. You're way too skinny for us to eat. Well, see you around. <laughs> Keep eating that candy, kid. Mm -hmm. Keep yeah. eating that candy, yeah. And that's what makes me wonder, is that why they made force-fed them candy? That's is the that beginning. why they made them eat all the candy? I think so. I think so. That's the true last spook right there. That's the last fright, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. final fright. Yeah, the final fear. Woo! And that's yeah, it. Yeah. Just... But meanwhile, we'll still be friends with these aliens. Uh, this this one felt like uh, RL got to this endpoint and didn't know what to do. And then was just like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fucking aliens, I guess. Sure, whatever. We'll just go sure. with it. We'll do the aliens thing no, again. No, no foreshadowing in any no. way. Even the the four missing uh, fat people. Again, mm -hmm. that's what the book calls. Calls them us. that. And now it was cut out in the uh, re-release in the mid two thousands re-release. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, there's something about like there was a little bit of a payoff with that when the other jack o' lanterns approach them before the prank is revealed, mm -hmm. where you're like. There are four of them project. Oh, these are the four adults who got turned. Like, mm. This is them. No, it's just four other jack o' lanterns. Yeah. There, was no, there was nothing. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, you could have had. Like, yeah, they don't. He doesn't use every piece of the of the buffalo here, RL. You, you left a lot on the. <laughs> you left a lot laying around. What's going on? I, I, real quick, I gotta I gotta say the the uh, the addendums he he did for when he updated this one. Um, so they took all the overweight references out. So uh, Shane and Shane are not called Roly Poly. Uh, and really? Then, no, they're not called. I don't even know what he re redid that as. It doesn't say. Uh, and then, okay. so the four missing people are not described are described as big instead of fat. And then, then I don't remember this guy, but I guess it's one of the people they um, they trick or treated from. A man in a turtleneck is described as being six foot two instead of having six chins, which I think is very funny that mm. he had to keep that number six in there. Like he's like, I got to keep the six. It's like, I'm, it, well, it's a spooky number. Oh right, mm -hmm. right, devil number. That's oh right. right, 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 right. Satan's favorite number. That's right. Not at all that RL was just deleting his cursor and moving back, <laughs> and he got like, to six, and he's like, "I don't want to push delete I can't again." Can't be bothered. No, that's a whole nother keystroke <laughs> that I don't want to no, deal I don't with. Do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's that's uh, our ending, right, guys? That's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, that's it. The final fear is that they're aliens, and maybe someday they'll come back and eat them. Ooh. I mean, they've got this advanced technology. You know, who's to say they can't just abduct you in the middle of the night and eat you? Oh yeah, well it doesn't like it's not even that they leave. It's like they're just going back home. Right. So this will continue for the foreseeable future. These kids mm -hmm. have sold out humanity for a prank. Uh, also, we don't know what happened to Tabby and Lee. Like they put the pumpkins on their head and then they run away. And they're like, "Oh, I wonder how long the pumpkins will stay on their heads. Maybe forever." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "I I mean, no, but also like are the aliens going to do something to them? I'm scared." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of big questions yeah. at the end of this one. Mm -hmm. Alex, how did how would how did you feel about this ending as it hit you? I mean, it's scary conceptually, but just the twist is so out of nowhere right. and I mean, I don't know because like I said, I haven't read Goosebumps in 25 years, but are there a lot of other books that have this kind of twist ending that's like mm -hmm. yeah. what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, really? yeah. <laughs> Decent amount. We've been uh we've been enduring it for a long time now. Mm -hmm. Cuz <laughs> whenever whenever I, I whenever I remember a twist ending from well, I think the can I can I reference another twist ending? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Please. Cause the one that always the one that always stuck out to me is like that's stupid. Is the shocker on Shock Street ending where it's yeah. like, oh, we're there. Turns out our main characters are robots. Mm -hmm. It's like, shut up. Yes. Get, yeah. What? Get out of here. 
it's that's, just, that one always it's, gets it's me. It's always it's the same. It's felt like this one where it just felt like Arnold was like, I do not know how to end this. I don't know. It's yeah, like, <laughs> like he's got like a little bag of like of like papers next to his desk, and he pulls out and it just says robots on it, and he's like, "There's the ending. Mm-hmm. Robots. We're doing robots. Yeah, yeah. nailed it. All right, yeah. guess we're doing robots yeah. this time. Or it's a dartboard situation. Yeah, maybe a dartboard. He just, throws yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, uh, <laughs> I, for some reason, I think it's a pressure luck board. I think it's just it just mm. circles around a list of ideas, <laughs> boop, 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 and every once in a while boop, boop, he gets boop, whammies. Boop, boop, He's like, "Well, I guess I'm just not ending this one." <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whammies, the whammies is when there's no twist ending. Right. That's, that's when. All that's that when it's just like the book cuts out. Yeah, yeah. Those are the best ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, have you? I don't want to spoil it, but have you guys done Chicken Chicken yet? No. What's that? Chicken Chicken. That's one of the worst ones. I'm I'm sorry. You'll have to get ready for that. Oh, one. Is that in the core? The, the first line oh, of freaking. I think so. But that one, that one has one of the worst twist endings, in my opinion. Chicken Chicken. Yeah, yeah. Chicken. I don't see it on the. It might, the it might... Oh yeah, it is the one with the girls late. That's really what the title of that book is. I remember the cover of a yeah. girl oh, screaming is. on a rooster body. I did not think the name of that book was Chicken Chicken. Oh, it sure is. Wow, I remember this cover. Yep, I remember. It's a terrible I... title. Yeah, it's also a terrible book. Hey, um... guys, it's a, it's a finger <laughs> like a nightmare, though. And t- is that what the tagline <laughs> That's is? That's the yeah. tagline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyway, but no, as far as, as, far as like, um, uh, twist endings go when when he just pulls up is this the first time he's done aliens i don't think no. so no no actually no, calling, all, calling all creeps is aliens the, that's right yes it is um, what's the camp one there's um, at least there's a camp one at least one camp one where they're on an alien planet camp right? nightmares uh-huh. i think yeah i think it's camp nightmare where they pull a gun on the kid and then they're like surprise <laughs> it's all just a part of our alien hazing that we do i guess yeah we're all yeah. aliens and you're gonna take over the planet <laughs> yeah. or something yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah, so yeah, he 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 busts out the aliens once in oh, a while. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, it's come up a couple of times. I tend to find the aliens less scary than the like fantastical yeah, stuff. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Yeah, yeah, I like the fantastical stuff more as like a twist to it, but you know, it's whatever. Yeah, he likes his sci-fi. He does. Uh, here's a qu- here's a question for you. How m- rate it in your in a candy, please? Sure. Ooh, okay. This one would be this would be. Neko wafers. Oh, geez. wow. Okay. Yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's a yeah, dirty It's rough. There. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, Paul, how are you? I, you, you I'm going to give candy. this five chuckles, but they're all the licorice chuckles. Oh, That's okay. Not, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm going to call this a, a bag of fun dip but the bag of fun dip is like was like in a pile of wa- puddle of water so it's, oh, so it's like a oh, brick and oh. it doesn't have the stick it doesn't it have, doesn't the, have stick. the stick so yeah. you're using your you're just pouring in your mouth or using your finger like a monster to get it. it's <laughs> ugh, one of those ugh, yeah ugh. no thanks damning uh alex this is been a blast i'm so glad you could share this experience with us i've been wanting to be on this show for a very long time and i'm really glad that i got to do it for this specific book yeah yeah well i'm glad yeah i'm glad we could give you your first taste of goosebumps in a long time thank you uh if if the thumb no wait i've decided i've i'm gonna dictate what the thumbnail is sure. and it's gonna be the ninja tyler muscle god picture but with the alien head oh my god sure that's pretty good <laughs> that's pretty good let's get yeah, shopping <laughs> We can tweet that out. I'm going to do a little bit of research again to make sure that he's not going to get us on some sort of government watch list by talking about him. <laughs> true, true, true. Otherwise, okay. this should all make it to the podcast. Okay, I great, great. I'm, yeah. I'm so happy about that. Uh, can I also just share with you guys that I found one more video on the Ninja Tyler fan channel? Oh, please. Who's yes. Keep it his library. Yes. Uh, this one's called Huge Bodybuilder Romantic Mode. I got, oh. I'm, I'm excited. God, why are the titles the big? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what song do you think he's playing? On piano. I don't know. What, what? Year, what year was this? This was 2017, but it's a re up. Oh, it's 20. Okay. okay. Jeez. I was going to base it around the year. <sighs> That's a tough question. What would. I don't even. I don't know the guy well enough to be able to pick out his. That, I believe, is Street Fighter Guile's theme. Oh, I can't. Oh, you actually wanted me to listen to it. I'm sorry. I didn't pull it up because. It, oh, it's it fine. is. It is. is it, Guile it is Guile's theme. It is Guile's theme. A hairy, shirtless, muscular man wearing a ski mask. Just playing Guile's theme on piano. That's sick. I'm into that. This is insane. <laughs> Alex, to check out your stuff besides Ninja Tyler, where should they yeah. go to? No, where they check? no, just look at Ninja Tyler. <laughs> Don't look at me. Replace Alex's career with Ninja Tyler. 
I look, uh, uh, you could check out my, um, Zenga at, uh, <laughs> whatever dang. the URL for Zenga is, <laughs> Octopimp. Check me out. Uh, I do a lot of, um, Hotel Transylvania fan fiction. Um, God, I missed you. Zenga, baby. I missed you out. <laughs> Damn, Listen, that's, a, that's a pull. That is a pull. Good job. Uh, it also, if you do, I uh, I do stream Neopets exclusively. If you're looking for a rainbow paintbrush, I am selling one for seven million Neo points. Hit me up. Where should uh, they go if they were going to watch you stream? I'm gonna Neopets, I'm gonna Alex? I'm gonna contact you on uh, my makeout uh, club page if that's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. cool yeah, hit, uh, I stream exclusively on Friendster, so you can check me out there. Sure, sure. God damn it, Alex! Use your best practices as a channel. No, on, I you know absolutely this. refuse to do that. Yeah. Yep, yep. You sure sound like you sure sound like an internet person, all right. <laughs> uh I'm gonna tell people they should go to twitch.tv slash octopimp. Yeah, right? oh yeah, so that's there. That's there, that's there too, I guess. Octopimp much uh-huh. dude, Alex, you, Alex, you're one of my favorite uh oh, internet, stop. internet internet peoples. Stop. Uh despite you continuously spitting in the face of God with your channel. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love it so much. Oh, thank uh, you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh I I am I can't believe that there's a Ninja Tyler fan channel. I'm blown away by this. <laughs> well, there's your day right there. That's my whole day now. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you so much for having me. This was so much fun. Thank you for having me, Alex. We'll we'll definitely have to have you back soon. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, Come guys, back for chicken chicken. Oh. I think we kinda have to do that now. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm there. Chicken, I'm chicken. there on that one. Look, I told I told Chad, I was like, as long as it's not how I learned to fly, I'm set. Okay. Because that's that's the worst one. That is, in my opinion, oh, the worst Goosebumps books ever written. I that coming up still. Shit. Oh, you haven't, you haven't done How I Learned to Fly? No, I don't think no, so, no. no I'm going yeah. to tell warn you right now, it's not even remotely scary. Uh-huh. There's nothing scary about that book. Uh-huh. Uh, All right. I'm actually, now I'm looking forward to it. I'm now morbidly okay. curious. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Alex, hey. thanks again for being joined with us. Yes. Uh, and for everyone else listening, thank you so much for uh, checking in on this episode. If you found this for the first time through Alex, we're so sorry. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for <laughs> checking out the podcast. Watch all uh, the other episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to uh, check out more content, obviously, uh, you can go to goosebudspod.com. Uh, if you want to support the show, uh, you get access to bonus episodes we do every month, a, a Discord with a really cool community, and voting on what we read next. You can go to patreon.com slash goosebuds. Uh, Paul, what am I am I forgetting anything else? Just it, Ninja Tyler, if you're out there, hit yeah. us up, please. We miss you. Please, please, we'd love to, please. I'm not even part of the team. I want Ninja Tyler We're on an episode. on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to talk to him and see who and see the man behind the mask. You can wear the mask. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. Sure, that's fine. Uh, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll. I think I'm gonna get out of here. That's Bud and um, okay. get some candy. I, I love you both. I'll talk to you soon. Be well. Love you guys. Bye. 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 This episode of Goosebuds is brought to you by these wonderful Patreon supporters. We'd like to thank Hollis Hornbeek, Stefan Jive Turkey Kuwabara, Michael McDowell, Cameron Murphy Audio, Josh Robertson, David Cron, Nick Hinkle, Mickey C, Nathan Dolezal, Fred Atkins, Mike Lanteri, Clayton C, Ale Kate, Buddy Morrill, Natu Pearl Henderson, Mel Dipson, I like that, Jared Mason, Jim Greaves, Zankeith, Joshua Lopez. Danky McStanky. Afshin. Dango Twists. Jennifer Britton. Aaron T. Strunk. Victor. Centicles wears a mask because it's healthy and it also makes him look like a sweet ninja. Brian Wells. Becca McWilliams. Stealth Bates. Patrick Reynolds. Joseph Miranda. Robert Moon. Scott Colopy. Jason Crooker. Third Sergio. Jonas Blatterman. John Keady. Miguel Pardo. Clay Castle. Cap. Christina Doling. Matthew. It came from fan mail. Matt the Half Court Warlock Bachelor. Reinfected. Sniggy. Tyler Penner. Maddie. Gregory D. Warren. Ishak Arafin. Mikey Jello. Alan Saylor. Chosen One. Sam Hash. Cody Redfield. Paul Grasso. Trans Rights. Fuck yeah. Joe, remember to save early and often. Scott. Walter Frazier. Toothless Barry the Whistler Bostowitz. Didn't do the voice this time. I'm sorry, Barry. Rich Hilborn. Aiden Alexander Dace. Bradford Coulter. Dylan Vaughn. Jonas Engman. Taylor Dierks. 
Jinke. Two in the slink, one also in the slink. All three in the slink, then. Justin Wagman. Ryan Shell. Joshua Jacobwitz. Cardboard Walk. Tommy got a tummy full of murder wasps. Hoey. Leviathan. The John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Up and Champ. Trendy Moron. Alicia Grave. Rug. Connor Church. Trent Davis. Luke Noodles. Vincent Modica. Joe Gorman. Keith Robinson, Carl, Brock Bram, Hugh Bolin, Anthony Kuabara, Zam Bambino, Maloyster, Elusive Koala, Yanni Markovina, Low Belly Hate Me, Joe, Blake Alvarez, Corey Shelley, Space Tiger, Beezus Christ, Brooke X, Jessica Zybal, Boney, Brian Hobgood, Christian Vanskever, Zach Connor, Jake Young, Nathan Remick, Jeremy Lowe, Jordan Lockwood, Anxious Serve, Foolish for Deborah, Divaldi, Joe Spooky Digital Ghost Tierney, Valhalla Black, Tom Whittem, Patreon underscore donator, comma yo, Kevin Hamilton, Reed Steubendike, Llama Consultant, Joey Evans, Care Wise Gamgee, John the Howling Eye Duda, Andrew Making Miso at Home, Jadzak, dude, send me some, send me some cold miso soup, Nicholas. Nicholas Johnson, Goose Time, Eric England, Cameron Hansen, Lord Cornwallis, Elizabeth Steenweg, Swag Bumps Nightmare at Camp Yolo Squire, Andrew Evans, Mike Roch, Haha, <laughs> gotcha, it's actually Spencer. General Lee Depressing. Cardamom Birkin Bino. It's great spice. Just Garrett. Daddy's Happy Apple Boy. Goon Cahoots. Etenomore. Anthony from Let's Watch Something. Yeah, yeah. Dylan McCann. Straightforward, no funny name for Dom. Sorry, Dom, didn't get to read that one. SNES Chalmers. Glenn. Dan. Buffcat. Chris Pittman. Sean Minogue. Jacob the Rough Handed. Dylan Yats. Germ Juice. Baz Garretson. Jonas Evan Voldson. Egg Baby. R.L. Slick. Don Pigeon Hat Barber. Zach Bush. Calamity Carl. Dr. Worm. Chip Handsome. Dak Prinky. Nick Johnson. Jared Nudie. Head to our OnlyFans page to watch the three of us spoon warm oatmeal into each other's frothy buttholes. You guys can't afford that OnlyFans page. It's too expensive. Matt McQuillan. Stephen Day. Stinklitch. Kate and Franklin. J.R. Chip. Oze. The Voyant. Claire. Ryan Carroll. Alex Moon, the robot dog. Sadie Kitson. Sarah Kemp. Jeremy Bowser. Tanya Turtle. Daniel Hirschberger. Adam Morocco. Brett. Chili Dish Gambino. Spencer Kimball. Bad Vibes Jr. S. Robert Edward Hodgson Jr. Wacky Username. Megan McCormick Mason. Manuel Aviles. The Slink of Fate. Adam, you goofed. Adam, get your shit together. Ninja Breadman. Juan Jalapena. Hoodleman. Jimmy Soul. Mudbark. Muscles Bear. Cameron. Keith Halcrow. Aogan. Got little old moi pretty freaked. Wesley. Parker Lee. Chris Keeper of the Mastosphere Nelson. Russell Gore. Natas. Satan's back one. Jacob Forrester. Wonderskin. Milky Nug. Nicholas Butler. Dakota Champ. Jordan Slamsey. Dakota Campion. Taylor Shedden. Timothy Misadoulakis. Ham underscore Boat. Clay McCarty. Ashley W. Kelly Sestare. Wade Nordcross. Stinkline the Goblin. Raymond Hernandez. The underscore Venomous underscore Viper. Maggots. The Crowfens. Zachary. Zachary. That's a hard one. Flemily. Cod Salmon. Matthew Sutton. Jeffrey Owen Cawhee. Nicole Watkins. And thank you to our new patrons. Welcome to the Book of Names, Who's Ryan? And welcome new Patreon, Wolf's Law. Give us all the Wolf's Law you got. Kelsey Kinneman, Dylan Napier. And welcome new Patreon, Peanutburg. I would love to live in Peanutburg. I would like to be part of your city. You're stuck here forever. See you next time, forever. Thank you, everybody, again for your support. We love you. See you next episode. And thank you all so very, very much. We love you all. Stay safe. Flypaper. The work of the people. Owned by the people. Supported by the people. Visit flypaper.fm.